When you double click an element, you bring up the property editor. This is your main panel for customizing how the element looks and what it displays. Each property editor is different depending on the type of element or thing you have selected. Other functions also have a property editor, like the page itself. And as we saw in the workflow tab, events and actions have their own property editor too. When you have an element selected, the property editor has three tabs. The appearance tab where customization is handled, the conditional tab to change properties based on states, like this button is hovered, and the transitions tab to animate any styles the element has. Since most of the information your application uses will be dynamic, almost every field you have access to in the property editor can display dynamic data from your database or an external API. Think about how powerful this is. With just a few clicks, your elements are displaying dynamic content, which can be from a database, external API, or built-in bubble data sources. You'll be using the property editor all the time, so play around with this page's design elements and this page's workflows to get a feel for it on your own. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how easy it is to add users that can sign up, log in, and log out of your application.